For practice it, self-check 6.18 print box. We are asked to write a method named print box that accepts two parameters. So to start this, we'll have our method public static void and we need to um, call it print box that accepts two parameters a scanner representing an input file so we can call the scanner input and this is our scanner parameter and then we have an integer representing the length of the longest line of the input in that file so we are going to have int and we can call this length this is our method Next, we're going to need a public static void main in here to run this. So I'll write out public static void main with string arguments. And in here, um, since we are opening a file, example.txt, we need to open this file. We need to have a throws file not found exception just in case. Um, we cannot find the file. So once we have all of this, we can start writing our code. Well, we are going to use a for loop to write this. Um, and we're going to copy that for loop down here to write this. And then we will have a while loop to print out these lines from our text file. And then we will have a for loop to help print out these spaces. First, we're going to start with this part right here. And to do this, we need a for loop that'll print out the length of all of these. We can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of these. So we need to run a loop 14 times. Before we run our loop though, we'll have a system.out.print. And we are just going to print this plus. Now we can start by printing these dashes. And it seems that the um, dashes are going to be the length of this entire thing. So if we have our length, we are going to have to subtract two because we have these um, two pluses on the end. So we'll have int a is equal to zero. And we'll run this as long as a is less than length minus two. Again, because we have to account for these pluses in our row. And then we'll do a plus plus. And in our for loop, we'll just do a system.out.print where we print out a dash. Once we are done with this, we are just going to print out our plus below this loop. And that'll give us this first line right here in total. Next, we are going to deal with this part. So we're going to have our line, or vertical line, and then we're going to have just some random code in here. Or not random code, but the uh, text from the file, and then we're going to have a space, and then a space. To do this, we will start just like our other for loop, where we have a system.out.print, where we print out the first part, which is going to be a line, and then a space. After this, we are going to use a while loop to read the scanner input. We'll do while input dot has next line. And while input dot has next line, we are going to run inside of this loop. So we are just going to print this out. We'll do a system dot out dot print input dot next line and that'll um, run the next line now we can see that for this it works out and then um, when we are done with this we are going to print a another um, line like this so we can copy this in here however we notice with the next line if there are spaces in here it needs to print out this so we have to account for these um, spaces if it doesn't run the whole way. So to account for these spaces, we are going to do a for loop. An inner for loop, we can just use a as a temporary value, set equal to zero, and this is going to run the length 
minus um, these two. So we'll have length minus two again. And a has to be less than this. But we have our text here. So we have to have the length of our line. Well, to do this, we, we already printed our line out here. So we can't go back. So instead of printing this like this, we can store it in a string. We can call this string, we'll write line, and we'll set this equal to our input.next line. That way we store it and we can use this multiple time, lines, multiple times. So we can output the line here, and then we have length minus two, and then after we do minus two, we'll have minus line dot length. So it'll get the length of the string, and then we will have a plus plus to increment a the entire time. We'll have our brackets to close this, and this should be um, a space actually. So instead of having that, it should just be a space to print out the spaces. And once this hits the correct amount of spaces that it needs to output, we can just write this line in here like this. Once we have that, we need to print out this line again. So we can just copy this code from here and paste it below. And we can see if this is the correct code. First, we have an illegal expression at the start. And this is actually a method. So the method doesn't need a main method. Our method should just be public static void. We, don't, we can't have a main method inside of a method. So we're going to take out our method. And instead of... Um, having our throws file not found exception in our main method we're just going to have it in this method up here even though it's not a main method it still needs a throws file not found exception since it is reading into a file next I'm going to add a semicolon there and submit it again and we have passed or we have failed the test and that is due to spacing so after here after it prints out this plus we need to go onto a new line. Same thing with this. And this should actually be in our for loop, but outside of our while loop. So in our for loop, and then our while loop should end like this. And then we, this is an extra um, bracket, so we can get rid of that and submit it again. And we see we still have some errors here. So um, this print line or this um, dash should actually print in our while loop since it's going to run every single time. So not out front, but inside of here. And once we submit that again, we still have an issue, except this time it is on this side over here. So it seems like we don't have the correct amount of spacing. And if setting, instead of minusing two, it might be plus two. And we can check that out. And see that fixes that. So we can just correct it for this bottom part since it's the same exact code. And then we can also correct it in here and try this again we can see that this is almost correct however there is just one line spacing in here so we can fix our for loop by setting this equal to one or just having um, plus one instead of plus two we can just set this equal to one for consistency and then we have passed the tests so this is the code that will give us this output First, we are printing out this part. We have this code. We have a print line, the plus, because that's in front and it doesn't get repeated every single time we run this loop. And then we have our dashes and then another plus. Next, we have um, the two vertical lines with our string from the text file in the middle. So we have, we're gonna print out a vertical line every single time this line runs. And then we are going to store our string 
or we're going to store our input.next line in a string. We're going to print that string and then do a for loop based on that string's length and then print out the last line right here. Lastly, we are just going to print out this bar down here again. And that is the code that'll give us this answer.